Yo, what's up? Bringing you that MLB Dodge Show 17. So we just completed the All-Star program for Felix Hernandez. The last thing we got was the All-Star pitching. Probably what most of you guys are going to get last. But for this, we get 5,000 XP, 250 stubs, and 25 tickets. Let's redeem this and then head on to the program. So once again, the rewards for this program, we get ourselves a program pack, some XP and tickets, another program pack, this 87 overall rookie flashback Felix Hernandez. We're going to show off the stats. Then we got some more XP stubs and tickets, two more program packs, which we will open, and an all-star flashback Felix Hernandez, 98 overall all-star version from 2014. I'm excited to get this. One of my favorite pitchers. So let's go over these missions once again. The all-star pitching is probably the last thing you're going to finish. You need 236 innings pitched, 15 wins, and I don't know the strikeouts off the top of my head. But by the time you do the innings pitched, you're going to have everything else done. This is pretty much playing 26 nine-inning games, so it does take a while. So I did this naturally because I was doing the all-star program for Ryan Sandberg also. So we were hitting and pitching through nine innings. But if you want to do this a quicker way, you can just pitch naturally, and then when you come up to hit, just get a run or two and then bunt the rest of the game so you can get through hitting quickly. Then we had a tally, 11 strikeouts and get the win with Seattle Mariners starting pitcher. So I did this with James Paxton. He's a cheap option right now. You can do it with King Felix also. If you play on rookie difficulty, getting 11 strikeouts is very easy. You don't, you don't even have to think about it and you'll get 11 strikeouts. So I would do that on rookie difficulty. You can do it on higher difficulties if you want to, especially if you're doing some team epics while you're playing this. But if you do it on rookie difficulty, you're easily going to get 11 strikeouts. So this one's pretty easy. Then we had to collect 25 flashback starting pitchers. So I had this right when this program released. So I don't know how this affected the market and what the prices are for these flashback starting pitchers right now. But collecting 25 of them, it shouldn't be that difficult. There is some cheap ones in the market. And then you can also get quite a few of them in the ticket counter. So I definitely check the ticket store first. Get some of those pitchers. With however many you need left, just get them in the market. Try to get the cheapest ones first and then go on from there. Then we had to tally the stats with rookie flashback Felix Hernandez. I believe it was 8 innings pitch. Get the win and 6 strikeouts. So fairly easy. If you do it on rookie difficulty once again, you're going to get that without even thinking about it. So this one is not really that difficult. Then we had to collect the Felix Hernandez live series card. So I had this before the program came out. And then when we did our pack opening on Friday, we also pulled the Felix Hernandez. So I have three of him. I sold the one, got like 20K out of it. So right now, I think his price is around 15K. So if you didn't have him before, you got to spend... You know, a good amount of stubs to get King Felix, but it's obviously going to be worth it if you're getting this diamond King Felix. So this one, just go out and get the King Felix. I mean, I can't really say anything about this. He's going to cost some stubs. Then we had to exchange live series starting pitchers. So this exchange rate, I don't remember what it was. It was 77,000, I think, something like that. It does take a while, but starting pitchers, you can get a good amount of the 79 rated bronze ones for 30 to 50 stubs. So it didn't really cost that much at the end. I think we did it in around 5K, around there, something around there. So it's not really that bad. But if you don't have the players, obviously it does take a while. But the one thing I would say about this is be patient with getting these players when you're exchanging them. Don't do the buy nows. Don't go and get the starting pitches for like 80, 90 stubs. Be patient. Put in orders while you're playing games. Get like 5 to 10 at a time and slowly get the amount of pitchers you need at the cheapest possible price you can do it. That's the best way to do it. 79 rated bronze players is the way I do it and it's worked well for me. So that's my advice for you guys. And then the last thing we had to do was to defeat the Seattle Mariners on all-star difficulty. Now, for some reason, I struggled with this. I think it took me three games to beat them. I don't know why. But I just couldn't do it. I don't really have a tip with this. Just be patient when you're hitting. Look for your pitches and get a couple runs in. So now we're going to open up these two program packs. Would be nice to get a diamond. Let's see what we get. The first one, we're going to get ourselves two commons and two bronze players. So nothing good. And in the second one, we got ourselves two more commons and two more bronze players. So the good thing about this right now is since these cards are unsellable, we can use these for the new exchange missions that just came out. So that's probably what I'm going to do. But unfortunately, we didn't get nothing good. So here we have the 87 overall Felix Hernandez rookie series card. He has 87 stamina, 71 hit per 9, 79 K per 9, and 69 walk per 9. Has the 80 velocity and 88 break. 
has the fastball, curveball, changeup, and slider. So using him in the one mission we had to do with him, I think his fastball got up to 97. So it's from 95 to 97. The curveball was around 82, and the changeup's around 85. So the pitches are not bad. The walk per nine is a pretty solid number, and the hit per nine and K per nine numbers are decent. The hit per nine number is kind of low at 71. The K per nine number is okay at 79. So overall, it's a good card. Probably the Felix Hernandez that throws the fastest as far as the fastball goes, but obviously not the best Felix Hernandez out there. Then we got the Diamond Felix Hernandez 98 overall All-Star Series from 2014. 97 stamina, 85 hit per 9, 81 K per 9, and 82 walk per 9, 77 velocity, and 89 break. So this one has the sinker, fastball, changeup, curveball, and slider. The sinker and fastball both go around 92 to 94. The changeup, I think, is at 88, so a higher changeup than the other versions. And then the curveball, I believe, is at around an 80. So still good pitches right there. And then the slider, I think, is around an 84. So the pitches are good. I think King Felix has pretty good movement on his pitches. And I've done well with the live series card. So I'm hoping with this one, we're going to do much better. He has good numbers in hit per nine, K per nine, and walk per nine, all above 80. And those are probably the most important stats for a pitcher. So that should make him very useful online but there it is we completed the all-star program for felix hernandez i'm excited to get this card one of my favorite pitchers so he probably will be in our rotation the rest of the year let me know how you guys are doing on this program and if you plan on getting this card i would get the program done either way just to get that percentage done for the dynasty program so keep that in mind but that's gonna do it for this one thank you guys for watching like and subscribe if you enjoyed and i'm out